29. The following concentrations are found in mixtures of ions in equilibrium with slightly soluble solids. From the concentrations given, calculate the KSP for each of the slightly soluble solids indicated. And then we have this compound right here, CeIO3,4. Now they told us the concentration of the two ions. They told us that the Ce4 plus is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity, and the Io3 minus is 2.6 times 10 to the negative 13th molarity. So we just have to find that KSP, the solubility product. Remember, it always comes from a balanced equation, and always the ionic compound, that slightly soluble solid, but it's a solid nonetheless, will break down into its ions. And in this case, they told us what the ions were. So I'm just going to use that information. So Ce, Io3, 4, that's the solid. This comes to equilibrium with its two ions that it breaks down into. Ce, 4 plus, and Io3, minus. Now, I see charges, so I know that they're aqueous, and now we just have to balance, right? I see that I have four IO3s, so I am going to put a four in front of the IO3, and now everything is balanced. The CEs are balanced. Now I'm just gonna write out what I got. They told us that the CE4 plus concentration is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity, and they told us that the IO3 concentration is 2.6 times 10 to the negative 13th molarity. Now, don't be scared by this four. A lot of students would say, oh, I have four of these. I have to times this by four. Mm -mm. Whatever the concentration that they gave you, that's what you got. No more, no less. So the four here is only used for ratio purposes in the balanced equation. But if they tell you a concentration, they're talking about it for the, all of the IO3s. So collectively, you have 2.6 times 10 to the negative 13 polarity. Now let's use the balanced equation to find out the specific KSP equation. Remember, it's just equal to the products raised to the coefficients. So in our case, KSP equals the concentration of the CE4 plus times by the IO3 minus, let's raise them now. Um, I didn't see a number in front of CE, that means that there was one of them, but you don't have to put the one there. But the four, I do have to put the four. So the IO3 has to be raised to the fourth. So the CE4 plus was 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth, and the IO3 was 2.6 times 10 to the negative 13th. Let's plug it in and solve. KSP equals, we have 1.8, times 10 to the negative fourth, times 2.6 times 10 to the negative 13th. And that one has to be raised to the fourth. So you could do this all into the calculator in one shot. You could break it up. I'm gonna do it in one shot and let's see if we get the same answer. So KSP equals, let's see. Uh, 2.6 times 10 to the negative 13th. I'm gonna raise that to the fourth. And then I'm going to times that by the 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. And I get 8.2. Whoa, this one's really slightly soluble. 8.2 times 10 to the negative 55? That's nuts. That basically means that, like, none, none of this is going to break down. It's mainly going to be all solid. So that's why these, this number, this I, you know, IO3 is so small. Crazy. Okay. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I, you know, I enjoy helping you out. I hope you guys are understanding. Have a great day. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.